In this episode of Let's Talk Toads, learn how to check roots for SCN during the growing season to find out if your management plan is effective. One of the things you can do in mid-season to check if you have SCN is you can dig some roots yourself. And so what I do is I grab a shovel, I go out into the field and very carefully dig them up. If you pull them, the cysts will fall off. Those white females are only held on by their mouth parts and they're, they're just going to come off. I also take a five gallon pail of water sometimes if the soil is pretty hard and then just carefully massage off the soil. And what you're looking for are these small white females. They're cream colored and they're maybe a fifth to the tenth the size of a nodule. So the nodules are the root colored, they're healthy. You're looking for something much smaller. And typically I'll bring a hand lens with me and a flashlight because you often can't see them very well with your naked eye. But in this particular case, we're standing in a field where there's a susceptible variety planted and they're really easy to see. These eggs will hatch into juvenile worms and then the females will go into these roots and they start to swell up when they fill with eggs. And so that white female you're looking at maybe has 100 or 200 eggs and they will go through multiple cycles in a season. So in North Dakota, that might only be two or three, but in Missouri, that might be three or maybe as many as six. And so each time they go through that cycle, the egg levels are increasing over time in the field. So while you can look for white females in the season, you can see that they're there and you might be able to get an idea of how well your management tools are working. You know, for example, if you've got a resistant soybean variety and there's these white cysts everywhere, that resistant variety is probably not holding up to your expectations. I would recommend looking in the mid-season, looking in July, seeing if you can find them, in, but then come back in the fall and do some soil sampling. And when your egg levels get really high, your likelihood of yield loss is greater, and it's also really difficult to manage it. So when you manage this, you've got to manage it over time. You've got to get those egg levels down. So we always talk to growers where I'm at, trying to keep the egg levels down initially. Don't get that population so high. There's a good number of states where the soybean checkoff organization in that state will cover the cost of the samples. Effective SCN management starts by knowing your number. 